Today we're at the Straits Kitchen in the Grand Hyde Hotel in Singapore with Mr. Robert Dalimore, who is the Executive Assistant Manager of Food and Beverage with the hotel. Welcome. Thank you. Good to be here. And, and we're really pleased to be here today. Mm -hmm. This uh, concept you have here at the Straits Kitchen sure. is incredible. I, I was stunned when I walked in, the, the beauty of it, and also the quality of the food that you deliver. Maybe you could tell uh, the viewers out there a little bit more about what you have here. Sure. This restaurant is an absolute tribute to the best of what Singapore cuisine is all about, which is, uh, for those not too sure, the chi uh, Chinese, Malay and Indian are the three main influences right. based by population and, and culture in Singapore. And we wanted to give that a tribute restaurant, basically. That's the feel right. based on the menu. And also to, to get the cafe, the hotel coffee shop cafe image out of its old boring right. uh, persona, because traditionally all around the world, Every coffee shop, cafe, and a hotel is a tribute to international classics that you should be able to go anywhere. Standard. You shouldn't, you shouldn't be advertising. Yeah. Pub sandwich, yeah. or steak sandwich, cheeseburger. Exactly. These things are boring. Yeah. So, so well, let's turn that on, on its head. Of course, all the, all the classic international dishes are available through a room service menu. But we wanted to celebrate the food and put that up front. And that's what we have done through the combination of the design of open kitchens, the authenticity of the chefs. Um, it's just the excitement, and that's all complemented by the design of this restaurant as well. Well, I'm amazed because for hawker food, I came mm -hmm. in here and thinking, okay, high-end hotel, high-end prices, mm -hmm. uh, how could you compete with that? But I found that the quality is superb, mm -hmm. the comfort level is superb, and it's really not that bad a value when you think mm -hmm. about a big guy like me who go, goes out and eats five dishes at the Hawker Center, sure. uh, it's, it's not that expensive really, and yet you have the comfort and the, the quality here, mm. and the selection that you wouldn't have. Oh, in some cases. incredible. It's, it's, I think it's about 60 to 70 dishes at any one time on the menu. And what a lot of so. people don't know out there is this is a buffet style, so it's a set price, mm. and you basically go around and eat what you want. Um, where did you find all the chefs for this? A uh, combination of we're a 30-year-old hotel, so obviously we've already got some right. great chefs. Right. Uh, and looking at what we have internally and what we need to complement it by. Right. Uh, through contacts, looking at the Hawker Centers, going and asking a few people for references. And indeed, our, our best Malaysian chef came from one of, our, one of our properties in Malaysia. Wow. Now, one thing I noticed that was very unique here is there's a lot of corporate people eating here today. Uh -huh. But there's also a lot of uh, Muslims Look, eating here. Yes, and I understand yes. that all your food is halal. That's right. We are, as part of a looking for what are unique selling points to this restaurant. Right. We looked around the market and halal, which is quite an important uh, attribute in Singapore cuisine, is not available in the Five Star Hotel. So uh, for those that don't know, halal basically means that the food is prepared by certain religious standards set by mm -hmm. the Muslim, mm -hmm. uh, uh, like a committee as such. Or it just means, committee. yes, and must, all the products are pre-approved. We have to have a separate goods receiving area, so we actually built a separate loading bay for this restaurant. Right, so all the food comes in separate. <laughs> yes, That's it's essentially a, a freestanding restaurant right. hotel. So it's quite a, it's a fascinating concept because it's a very upscale. Mm -hmm. We have this lovely uh, teapot collection everywhere. Mm -hmm. You can walk around, choose what you want, when you like, and eat at a nice pace, and you're in an elegant setting. Well, I'd just like to thank you for, Most for welcome. hosting us today mm -hmm. and introducing us to another way that in Asia they're coming up with no, new concepts all the time, mm -hmm. taking street food, putting it in a high-end five-star Grand Hyatt restaurant, but making it accessible, enjoyable, light, and putting a new twist on it. And the, over in Asia, they're always inventive, That's aren't they? Shot, and yes. someone like yourself, a hotelier who's worked around mm -hmm. the Asia Pacific, mm -hmm. this is an area of the world where great ideas and concepts are always being born and always being developed. I'm Spicy Steve on the Asian Culinary Trail in the Grand Hyde Hotel, the Straits Kitchen in Singapore.